Hello beautiful people, we made it! We got our cougar car back. This is the conclusion to the cougar car conundrum. <laughs> It's been a few days. It has a few of them all at once. Oh, I have some notes, which is new for me. So this is a quick rundown of what happened when I went to pick up the Cougar car. First thing I did was I went to the airport and I met the number eight from Eight Elbows. Then I found a plane at the airport, which is good. Why are all planes painted white? So they look plain. <laughs> Come on, that was good. I sat and, and listened to some airport music. I didn't get bored at all. I met some friends, very important little friends, and I also thought long and hard with Angela. I accidentally nearly got arrested for using my phone on the tarmac. It was really funny because I was filming the planes because it's amazing and it's so loud, the engines are insane. And then the guy started starting to walk towards me so I quickly turned my phone off and he nodded at me and I put my phone back in the pocket and he nodded at me again. Very serious. Oof. I didn't get bored on the flight. Bored? I didn't get bored or bored on the flight at all. While I was on the flight, it was really funny because I went from New South Wales to Queensland. In New South Wales, we have daylight saving time, which is an absolute pain in the clock. <laughs> Am I allowed to say that? It was good times. Then I met uh, my brother-in-law, Mr. Phil. Then I was finally reunited with my dear cougar. Don't I look so happy and in love with seeing this car once more? <laughs> then uh, we started to drive. Now going. Wow, if we back natural. Back natural. Hello, Philip. How are you doing? Uh, we found a glitch in the matrix. What the hell? Yeah, that's really weird. It's a glitch in the matrix. I, I, I'm pretty sure clouds aren't meant to be that square. Uh, then we stayed in a 0 0.5 star hotel. I enjoyed the morning sunshine. We continued to drive for 460 billion hours. We didn't go crazy at all. And, and, and then we made it back here. In conclusion, in the cougar. Or in cuckoo-gershin. <laughs> no. Also, when I got home, I had to mow the lawn because we have a, a house inspection next week. And I got green and our dog that we're babysitting, he got green as well. Now, I've had hay fever in the past. And so I woke up in this morning feeling like I've been hit by a truck made out of grass. And the inside of my nose was all like wah, 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 full of grass seeds. And so I regret those decisions. I should have just set fire to the lawn. You know, like that Adele song? Set fire to the lawn. Rain. Whatever. I hope you enjoyed this this long cougar car conundrum chronicles. It was an adventure. Apparently it still works, which is great. But thank you so much for watching. I promise I will have at least 26% more energy tomorrow. It's really weird when you turn the car off, it makes those weird noises. Be kind, be curious, and stay awesome.